What is going on guys? I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I just logged into the game and the first day of this whole week for the first anniversary gifts for the game has started. As you can see, day one, we get a little over 3,000 potions. You know, it's not bad. I'm assuming the giant one for number seven, like I said in the patch notes video, it's probably going to be the Tiki Room. I'm assuming it's going to be day number seven. They haven't told us what everything's going to be, but that's my assumption, so we'll have to wait seven days to do that. But wasn't planning on shooting this video, but after I saw that, I was like, you know what? Let's make a video today. Let's have some fun. So, logging in. Yeah, 3,170 potions. How crazy would it be if that was gems? Just saying, but that'd be a lot. So, no, dive it in today. Here, actually, because I always forget to do it when I log into the game, especially after overnight. Cast the gathering spell so we can get all the potions and stuff. Again, I wish it would clear the characters too, but you gotta do something, you know? You gotta do a little something. That gate thing. Still, God, it's been really hard for me to get the uh, acorns and the hats for Chip and Dale. Like, they've been really hard to get. So, today, not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. We'll see what happens. First, I gotta clear through everybody, though. I was leveling. Oh, I was leveling Celia up. So, she should be level 8 now? I think she's level 8. I think. Is she? Level 8? Yeah, level 8. Okay. So, I have some ideas for today. We'll see kind of how they all play out. But before I do that, I gotta go through the click, everybody. It is a lot easier not having to click on all the potions because I get distracted. I wanna click on them too. So, this does make it faster, that's for sure. And I should be, I'm proud of myself. You guys should be proud of me. My happiness is actually going up instead of going down. So, y'all should be proud of me about that because y'all know how bad I am with it. We'll go through. I've been doing some of the vine cages and stuff, clicking on them, just trying to get some of the roses without having to spend gems on them. I've gotten a couple. I used them to level up. I think Cogsworth, I leveled up to level 2 yesterday. I think. What did I do yesterday? Or maybe I didn't level anybody up yesterday. Is Cogsworth still level 2? Maybe I didn't level anyone up yet. I don't remember. I thought I leveled someone up yesterday with those roses. Maybe I didn't. I Maybe I just did so. Yeah, I couldn't remember what I've done off camera. It's been a long day. I woke up this morning. It's snowing outside. It was 70 degrees two days ago here. Like... It's just weird stuff going on. I don't get it. So, that's a little sidetrack. Like, if you live in the Tennessee area, seriously, it was 75 degrees two days ago, and it, it was snowing this morning. I don't get it. But, that's that's a side note. Today, though, one thing I kind of thinking maybe do, maybe work on these, uh, I guess they're the main story quests, they're not the event quests for Beast and Cogsworth, but also something you guys have been telling me in the comments to do for both these episodes, and that was, why haven't you bought Mrs. Potts yet? So... We're going to take care of that right now if everybody's saying that I need to do it. So, now we officially have Mrs. Potts added to the game. I want to get a screenshot of her. She looks cool. Oh, I tried to get the second one, but my screenshots are slow. She has something for us, though, so let's see what's going on. Good heavens, this new kingdom certainly is a busy place. And me, a teapot again? Whatever will the guests all think. Still, that's no excuse not to make a good impression. I represent the pride of the master's kitchen staff, after all. I hope none of them prefer coffee, though. A poor heart couldn't take it. Send Mrs. Potts out to greet the kingdom's guests. Everybody's been kind of joking about how big she is. I mean, I can I can understand both ways. Like, she is huge. Like, she's bigger than Cogsworth and about as big as Beast, it looks like. Like, look how she towers over the kids. Like, I think that that's pretty funny, in my opinion, is how much she towers over everybody. But if you made her the actual size of her, I guess, like, if she was, like, this big, you really wouldn't be able to see, like, you have to, like, zoom all the way in and she, like, the size of, like, one of these little squares of brick or something, probably. So... I can kind of understand both ways in regards to that, but she does look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and end that though and see kind of, I don't know how much we're going to have for her, but we'll see what happens. Goodness, it's a good thing I noticed that spot when I had the chance. If one of the visitors had seen it, thank heavens I could take care of it quickly. It's much easier to get a stain out of a porcelain than out of a cook's uniform. A spotless reputation complete. We have something else for her. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Let's talk to her again. There's never a dull moment in the master's castle these days. With the grounds open to visitors again, we've had much more occasion to serve meals why just today the kitchen staff has been assembling an absolutely tremendous cream puff Ooh, that sounds good 10 feet high it is in fact i was just about to go see how they were coming along send mrs potts to beast castle to supervise and of course we got to get her now to level two as well we'll do it we'll get everybody to level two i want to be spending a crazy amount of gems past level two because it gets a lot more expensive but just that We'll get her level 2 this episode. We've been doing it for the other characters. We did it for Beast. We did it for Cogsworth. And frankly, we're probably going to do it with the rest of them too. So, we'll get her to level 2 and see where that leads us. These, as you can see, none of these are part of the main, like, the event quests. So, 
she is not required for any of the event stuff just if you don't get her during the event you might lose her so there's that so take that into account we'll go ahead in the meantime we'll send some people that probably don't have don't want to send beast yet but anybody that doesn't have don't you worry. a quest I'm well now we're gonna have that stuff where we keep having to recall the characters um we'll go through a little bit more of mrs potts oh she's this is gonna take a while she's gotta hop like all the way over here so this is gonna take a minute we'll go ahead in the meantime because we can probably get done in the same amount of time we'll send beast off to organize the library and we'll send cogsworth off really quickly to finalize his schedule like look how small cogsworth is and mrs potts is probably bigger than oogie boogie just to put in like the representation let's see how much progress she's made where's she at like she's hopping so it's gonna take a little while because <laughs> she's made so little progress oh gosh can we get some of these vine cages in the meantime no rope i'm having a hard time getting rope y'all like not even kidding i'm on the struggle bus trying to get all the rope so we'll slowly get her there in the meantime can we go ahead and end this with beast and cogsworth yep let's go ahead and end this one with beast that was uh, i forgot that i have claws again some of those book covers tear more easily than i thought a few more books complete and that looks like it's the only uh main story quest for beast right now let's end this with cogsworth and see what he has to say do 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 10 30 to 10 45 brush the master's hair oh wait better add another hour to that yeah he's got a lot more hair now than he probably did before 11 45 to 12 15 peruse a selection of new riding boots no uh better strike that entirely poor cogsworth man he's struggling right now all according to plan let's talk to him again i realize i have been using the term that word rather freely presuming you know the meaning of the see i don't know cogsworth if you could tell me i don't even know how to say it so if you can tell me what it means i'd appreciate it Simply put, I am the master's chief steward. Some would say butler, but I assure you, they are very different animals. That is to say, I supervise the master's servants, though uh, not the kitchen staff, which would be Mrs. Potts' purview. Hmm, perhaps it should be better, it would be better, sorry, if I simply showed you what I do. So let's send Cogsworth to supervise the castle's servants. Let's know, has, has Mrs. Potts made it yet? Okay, she has finally made it. Let's go ahead and end that now. It took a while. Well, it was a 10 foot high cream puff pyramid, for a moment at least, rather more like a very short pile now. The kitchen staff are all cursed again. Poor dears, it's difficult to balance a dessert like this without any arms to do it. Yes, chef complete. And is that all? That might be all for Mrs. Potts right now, which is okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. Right, that's, oh wait, where, that's everything, yeah. No, wait, Cogsworth's doing something. Sorry, I had a brain fart. I was going to end that really quickly. You see, 50 under footmen, 20 footmen, 4 under butlers, and 2 senior under butlers. Cleaning and polishing every surface in the Master's Castle in record time, all supervised by me. That is the mojodomo, that word, trade, in a nutshell. Although, it now occurs to me, though, it may have been difficult to see me doing that from outside the castle. Good stewardship complete. And that looks like it's everything in regards to those. So for now, the next thing we're going to have, we need to get Beast to level 3, which is probably used up, well, we only have to get one more rose. That's not bad. So we need to get one more rose to get Beast to level 3 to do this next part of the quest. And tomorrow, we can work on welcoming Lumiere, which is going to be sweet. Because again, y'all know I'm partial to Lumiere. I told y'all why. So we'll see what happens with that. But I know a lot of you guys were saying, you need to get Mrs. Potts. You need to get Mrs. Potts. You'll help out. Why haven't you got Mrs. Potts yet? I was gonna dedicate an episode to it y'all don't judge me for it so that's the reason why i waited till today to do that and seeing that the event has started for the one year anniversary that's pretty cool and i know i'm pretty sure i've played the amount of time to get the reward for playing uh what was it like for since the game came out playing it in march or something else you get rewarded so i don't remember exactly we'll see though that'll be next week i believe is when you get that um, if you get it, I think it's like starts the 18th or something like that in March. I can't remember exactly. Don't hold me to it. But we'll see with that. We'll see what kind of cool stuff we get for this one year anniversary. These seven gifts for seven days. So be sure, guys, log in every day. Get your rewards. And tomorrow, we will probably be welcoming Lumiere. So I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's probably a shorter one. But wanted to dedicate an episode to welcoming Mrs. Pot so you guys can see it in case you missed it. Oh, wait. I think I can level up. Can I do that now? Can I level up Dale now? Or Chip? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Uh, I, I just sent him off. Um, well, now we can get Chip to level 2, so we can do both of these quests for Chip and Dale at some point in the future. We'll see when I do it. But until then, guys, again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you're new to my channel, 
Smack that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. If you want to check out this game, it's Disney Magic Kingdoms. If you didn't see it in the title, it's a free game. I'll have a link in the description below to check it out if you want to play it. And guys, again, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Probably tomorrow. Later!